welcome to episode 22 of the Downtown Dish. I am your host, Katie Schamberger. This week, it's all happening. We are going to sit down with Ben Gordon, GM of Streetcar Grill and Tavern, because they have so much going on. We're going to talk brunch, we're going to talk Chiefs, watch parties, outdoor seating, and a lot more. So you're going to get hungry and you're going to maybe want to have your calendar ready because they've got cool stuff happening most every weeknight. We're going to get the whole scoop on everything going on. And then I've been talking about it. I've been, I've been planning this for weeks. We are going to go on the downtown dish pumpkin crawl, hashtag all pumpkin everything. I cannot wait to introduce you to my lifelong best friend, Jamie Young, who is events director for the Kansas City Mom Collective. And I'm not sure which one of us is the bigger pumpkin fan. We'll, we'll figure that out later. But we had such a blast going around downtown we hit several neighborhoods several spots had pumpkin food pumpkin drink you're going to get firsthand reviews and don't worry if you're not a pumpkin fan i just can't believe i said those words but i have some other delicious fall foods to put on your radar we're going to talk about that all cannot wait for you to join on that pumpkin journey big thanks to our partners this week and every week for helping make the dish happen downtown council kc streetcar kansas city downtown neighborhood association and linchpin ideas very thrilled to welcome back the featured musician that you met last week crystal rose is back with us sharing her newest EP, Arena. Now, if you remember from last week, we learned Crystal is a force. She was on a past episode of NBC's The Voice. Earlier this year, she decided to take even more control of her career. So in addition to making music, she's also been teaching herself to produce music. And you're hearing all of those skills come together here on Arena such a empowering song. I, I love this song. I've been listening to it nonstop. It's kind of like my new anthem. So definitely visit Crystal online. We'll drop her website here. Check her out. Make sure that you stay up to date with everything she has going on. And Crystal, thank you so much for being part of this week's downtown dish. Hi, starting Sunday morning off with a scenic stroll. Our friends at Casey Parks and Rec last weekend kicked off Walktober, which is a monthly series where they spotlight a different Kansas City walking trail each weekend. And this coming Sunday, they are headed downtown to the Riverfront Heritage Trail, which runs there through Berkeley Riverfront Park, right along the Missouri River. So here's what you can do. Pre-register with them on Eventbrite, totally free, and then show up Sunday to the Riverfront Heritage Trail, walk, jog, whatever you want between 10 a.m. and noon. Of course, you can share about your experience, take some pictures. The first 200 people to arrive at the trail on Sunday are going to get a commemorative button designed by artist Kevin Worley and here's something really cool and why I love Kansas City so much. Kevin used to be our neighbor in the River Market and he and his wife and their dog Coda are delight. It's really cool to see Kevin putting more of his art out in the world. So you can actually get a different button if you are one of the first 200 people at the spotlighted trail each Sunday. So you could have an opportunity to collect a set of four buttons super cool but hope to see you out at that gorgeous riverfront heritage trail just think you can have a little morning walk kind of soak in the sunshine and then downtown brunch awaits so many options 
so much outdoor seating. Where are you gonna go first? Jump in the arena, wave queen, just in big well, friends, get ready, because we got a lot to talk about with Ben Gordon, general manager of the Streetcar Grill. Ben, welcome to the Downtown Dish. Thank you so much, Katie. We appreciate you having us on. I, I don't even know where to start. I mean, you guys are doing so much. You've got delicious food, delicious drinks. Let, let's start with our with our football team, with Chiefs. What do you guys have going on um, for game days throughout the season? Sure. Chiefs games have uh, been great for us. We've only been open a year, but even with the last season that we had, I remember being here for the Super Bowl. It was an experience I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Um, and with everything going on with the pandemic, it's still great to know that people can come out and in a safe way still come out here. So, yeah, we always fill up for Chiefs games. We've got great specials going on. Um, on our Sundays, we'll do buckets of beer for $20 for domestic buckets. Okay. We've got our Kansas City specialty mules that we set up a great partnership with the local distillery down here, Jay Rieger. Um, then yep. we also, yeah, so we do a lot of that with uh, bourbon shots from those, horse feathers. Um, it's a really great place to come out and watch the game. We've got 21 giant 4K big screen TVs. So oh my God. seeing all the red split, spread through here and watching the game here is way different than watching it anywhere else. Well, I don't know if I saw you. Um, I was a little fuzzy. Uh, the streetcar <laughs> girl was actually my last stop um, on parade day. It was an mm -hmm. epic day. And, you know, I like to just kind of crawl uh streetcar donna who's on our downtown dish planning team she calls it bopping we like to bop to different places mm -hmm. um but i do remember just incredible food at streetcar grill great atmosphere like very mm -hmm. very spacious layout inside but you guys have got some great outdoor seating there too and you're right along main street hence the name yep um but how's that how's the the outdoor dining been going for you the outdoor seating has been fantastic it's always been the highest demand you know we have as many tables i just got a few more out there for even the remainder of the season that we can use as long as we can until the weather gets too cold but it's right, definitely right. been one of the most um, high in demand and especially given the uh, season and everything that's been going on it just has really helped people to show that we're here, especially when you're looking down the street. And by far, we have people that are coming in constantly asking, you know, is there any more outdoor seating outside? And it really is first come, first serve, but it's been fantastic for us. That's so awesome. And let's talk about another one of my favorite subjects, meals, whatever we're going to call mm -hmm. it. Um, you guys are a brunch destination. So brunch Saturday and Sunday. Yep, we do brunches both on Saturday and Sunday. They start okay. at uh, 1030 in the morning. They go until 2 o'clock. In addition to that, on Saturdays, we do uh, bottomless mimosas for $10 that goes from 1030 until 2 p.m. And on Sundays, uh, with football season, we do 1030 until noon for $10 bottomless mimosas. And then immediately at noon, we go right into game day specials, too. But they've been hugely popular in the brunch menu that we have here. I mean, quite frankly, the menu across the board, which I really have to give credit to, uh, John Glenn, one of the people that opened this place and comes from a lot of fine dining, when he first told me he was thinking about opening this place up, he comes from such a culinary background and has been wine spectator and managed several hotels. We've managed restaurants and hotels off and on for 20 years. Mm -hmm. But I go, really, a sports bar? I didn't, I didn't see that coming. And he said, oh, Ben, it's not going to be sports bar food. And the consistent high rating we've got off of our food menu, even in our first year, has been higher than anything of any place that I've ever worked before. So we do take a lot of pride in that. And that brunch definitely falls into that purview. What's uh, like if I'm coming in, so I haven't been there for brunch before, so I have to change that immediately. Mm -hmm. What do you what should I try first, knowing that I like oh, all man. all the brunch foods? Boy, I tell you what, from our skillets are fantastic we've got a great uh farmer's breakfast that has a little bit of everything That's biscuits what I like. and gravy i basically live and die by they're awesome <laughs> oh, um, the omelets that our cooks put out uh you know made to order um are fantastic the pancakes are really great and we got a couple additions that we're going to be announcing soon coming up for the fall season too but you really can't look at that brunch menu and go down hitting everything and say no nah, i don't think this is going to work because uh, we're pretty <laughs> proud of that well, I'm glad you brought that up because that's that's definitely one thing I wanted to emphasize too is Streetcar Grill. I love it so much because you've got that fun, energetic, laid back atmosphere mm -hmm. of the sports bar. But to your point, this is not 
what people might associate with kind of the typical sports right. bar food. And, you know, I love cheese sticks and potato skins and all that. So, you know, people calm down. But, mm-hmm. yeah, you guys are just elevating it up. And then I know you've got a lot going on um, weeknight, different specials, um, different days of the week that are yep. recurring. Can you uh, kind of hit those for us sure. and, and we'll all grab our calendars and be ready. Absolutely. All throughout the week from Monday to Friday, we do our happy hour three to seven and 10 to close, which includes out of the 24 beers we've got on tap, all of them are $4 flat, which is the best wow. I've seen in downtown. But you, know, if you can find something better. Let me know. Okay. Um, we've got some discounted appetizers or well drinks are, you know, uh, $5. We've got $2 off house wine. Our domestic bottles are only three bucks. But as far as the day by day through the week, Monday we do a great burger night on Monday nights where you can get just a plain cheeseburger for six bucks. But if you didn't want any one of our signature burgers, our specialties, mm-hmm. they're only eight dollars. Oh, um, that's really big. Awesome. Tuesday we do our taco and tequila Tuesday, so it's great if you're looking for that taco Tuesday and the specials we do for drinks from everything. Uh, from both tequila to uh, we do a special with Campo Bravo is really great. And then Wednesday, not only do we have live music that starts at nine o'clock, right. but uh, we like to do a little special wine Wednesday. So all of our bottles of wine, the bottles themselves are half price, too. So that's great to get some wine, listen to some music while you're doing it live. Yeah, I'll be mm. I'll be there for wine Wednesday. We yeah. figured. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and you already told us, but just to reiterate, so especially for that outdoor seating, I know for, for a lot of people, that's where their comfort zone is right now. Mm-hmm. I know I'm I'm definitely kind of sticking with the patios right now. But you said that is first come, first serve. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'd love to be able to do more of that based on the, the, the small amount of space that we have outside. We can put about seven to eight tables out there on the street. Uh, if we had more room, we would definitely love to do more and have an entire gated, fenced-in area. Right. But uh, with the demand being what it is, we really just kind of have to do that as a first-come, first-served basis. And maybe in the future, there would be a way where we could add more additional. But with the space that we're working with, uh, we're definitely maximizing it. I love it. And, yeah, again, obviously, if everybody can't tell by the name, Streetcar Grill, right there at – now, hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this. 16th in Maine? Yep, you Seven. nailed it. Oh, it is 16th in Maine. Yep. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm working on building just the whole map of downtown in from memory. Uh-huh. Um, so, obviously, you are right there at the uh, Kauffman Center, streetcar mm-hmm. stop, both ways. Right across the street. So, super easy to get there. Ben, I want to kick this question to you. We, we, we usually always end with this, and I always feel kind of weird especially asking people in your position, because I feel like you probably don't have a lot of free time, but in your hypothetical free time, are there other places that you like to hang out downtown, other favorite Mm -hmm. restaurants or a spot to maybe grab a drink after work? 100%. Um, I've only been down here for about a year. I came down to help open Streetcar Grill and Tavern, and uh, so I'm new to the KC area, but if there's one thing I like getting to do is getting to know you know, the other restaurants and bars in the area just because the camaraderie that you get to have is so great. And with everything that we've been going through with the pandemic, nothing makes me uh, happier than seeing not just the customers that come into our place, but all the other places we talk to really coming together to support local businesses. So the relationships we've been having them has been great. We've got Anton's uh, basically just right across the street. Everybody knows them for steaks. Uh, Love all those guys. They're amazing. We've got Tannin's, the nice little wine bar. Uh, and restaurant that's just down the street, which is also awesome. Um, but I do like getting to venture out. I've only been able to get to so far with the time I've had it in the Power and Light District, a handful of places, but so far they've always been fun every time I get the chance to make it out there. Um, I love going to um, Longest Yard, or no, Yard House. Yard House. Right. Yep. I keep saying yep. Longest Yard. Uh, the Yard House. <laughs> I mean, it kind of like, it would be, that would also be a good name. Right. For the, you know, the yeah, beer but glasses. Yeah, that's totally. what I'm see. But um, I love that place. Uh, that's yes. great. I love the people that work there as well. Um, even late night, I want to go have a drink. I know sometimes people are looking for late night stuff, especially if you want to get off of work. And uh, I've had a blast at um, uh, John's Big Deck. And yeah. uh, even hit up uh, the Quaff a handful of times. And I uh, had a great time there, too. But uh, I just think that we've got a really great circle of places in this whole area. And Everything I've seen, everyone's been so supportive of each other, too. So it really warms your heart to see that. Well, we're so glad you're here. Welcome to Kansas City. 
uh, thank you for joining us on The Dish. And if there's other new events or, or specials or things happening here in the future, you have a seat at our table anytime, Ben. So please come back and see us again. I love hearing that. Thank you for having us on, Katie. We appreciate it. I don't need, don't need your permission. Really exciting. Our own Ann Holiday with the Downtown Council, a critical part of our Downtown Dish partnership team is going to be hanging out with the KC Downtowners next Wednesday for their monthly luncheon. Anne is going to be joined by Jeffrey Williams from the City of Kansas City's Planning Department. They are gonna talk about some big plans and ideas in the works for downtown. This is an ongoing initiative, so definitely a great opportunity to catch up with what they're doing and there's lots of ways for you to still share your feedback and make your voice heard. Casey Downtowners luncheons right now all virtual so you can sign up for free. You could go and get a carryout lunch uh, maybe from a downtown restaurant and then head back to your computer or your phone at noon next Wednesday to check in with our own Ann Holiday and the KC Downtowners. We are pumpkin crawling on the downtown dish. I am here today. You are going to meet my best friend, Jamie Young. We have known each other since elementary school. She was in fourth grade, I was in third grade. She came up to me on the playground. She said, you look like my best friend, Tabby. I was like, okay, friends for life, girl. And she is, she might be a bigger pumpkin addict than me. I'm willing to share the crown or even give her the crown of Queen of Pumpkin. But we are exploring downtown today, pumpkin food and drink here at Mildred's. Jamie's gonna start us off with her pumpkin spice latte and we got lots in store. I got the uh, pumpkin spice latte from Mildred's down in the crossroads and it's pretty hot but I'm going to try a sip and I'm so excited. I mean look at the foam. Come on. Come oh, on. As a former barista that is some good foam. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Really good. Mm -hmm. How's it compare to other? I like it because it's not super sweet. You know some pumpkin spice lattes are like <laughs> just a, a whole field of pumpkin and sugar, but yeah. this isn't super sweet, and I really like it. It's really good. I like this. Jamie, what are we about to eat here? Oh, girl! Woo! Some pumpkin spice cake! Look at that. Look at that frosting. So okay, so pro tip, um, we're here at Mildred's. They have two pumpkin foods. They have slices of pumpkin spice cake here. They also have mini pumpkin bundt cakes. And we asked our new best friend behind the counter, which one should we get? And he said the sliced pumpkin cake. He likes a little better. So, cheers. You ready to go? <laughs> cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cream cheese icing, girl. Mm -hmm. That's cream cheese icing. <laughs> Woo yep, I think there's a little cinnamon. Good, so good. Good pumpkin cake. Not dry at all. Oh, that's really good. Really, really, really good. good. Really would pair perfectly with your pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin tour! <laughs> Just saying. Pumpkin <laughs> tour! Here we go. For me, I think pumpkin, it's just that warm coziness. Like, I'm not a summer fan at all. I don't like being hot. So I like once the weather gets cool and whether it's smelling the pumpkin, tasting the pumpkin, it just gives you that like cozy feeling where you just want to like wrap up in a blanket and watch It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and just like, I don't know, enjoy the season. I think especially this year too, we all need that comfort and coziness. So even though I love pumpkin, every year like this year i'm like get me all the pumpkin because i think we all need all the comfort we can have right now <laughs> it says pumpkin what is it oh. <laughs> oh. yes 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 oh. girl we eating some pumpkin pie crepes at seven swans creperie 
Dig into that pumpkin pie crap, girl. <laughs> I know, this is a big bite. I should like cover my mouth. <laughs> Here we go. Do it. Yes. Touchdown, Kansas City. Want a bite? <laughs> it's also a giant bite. <laughs> Get it. Touchdown! <laughs> I mean, so good. It's like Thanksgiving for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that's my kind of breakfast. Our day has come. It's so good. Oh my gosh, there's like sugar pecans on it and like pumpkin or pumpkin pie filling crust on the outside. Yeah. Pie What's crust. Pie Hello. crust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plus served with Betty Ray's mm -hmm. vanilla ice cream and whipped cream. So good. You gotta try it now. Okay. It is pumpkin pie. For breakfast. For breakfast. So good. This is unreal. So you don't, so you good. don't even need a pumpkin pie on your Thanksgiving table. You could just have this. Wow. Wow. One more time. Wow. <laughs> there don't like pumpkin I don't know who you are but you know here on the downtown dish we are all about inclusivity so I had some additional fall foods come on my radar this last week that I wanted to throw your way it does not involve pumpkin but it involves pumpkins sister brother cousin whatever butternut squash so our friends at Brown and Low in the city market have a new butternut squash hummus. Yes, I'm thinking a cocktail, some hummus on the patio. Let's see, uh, Stag Pizza, which is currently popping up lots of different places in and around downtown Kansas City. They have a new sausage pizza with a butternut squash puree kind of drizzle. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Um, we had a sausage and apple crepe at Seven Swans Crepery earlier, the Vermonter. So, so many options. I'm seeing lots of apples on the menu right now, pumpkin, squash, all the good stuff. Side note, still looking for a pumpkin cocktail. I know there's one out there, so get at me. I will come to your establishment immediately and give that a try. But of course, tweet us, Instagram us at Downtown Dish KC. Let us know what fall flavors you are enjoying and also save me a seat. Jimmy. Girl. How you doing, girl? I need a carrot. <laughs> I need some celery. But I'm excited for more. <laughs> Last stop on our pumpkin crawl. Can I get us? can't really see it. Okay, we're at Christopher Elbow here in the crossroads. Gonna try pumpkin Woo! spice pecan caramel. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Real messy, mm. but really good. Look at oh, the yeah. pecan in there. Good balance, good pumpkin flavor. Doesn't override the caramel or the chocolate. I have caramel all over my mouth. It's so good. It's, it's really, really good. good. Really good. Mm -hmm. They also have Halloween sets. I got a Halloween four piece. You know, Chris Farrell, he's a freaking genius. So, Jamie, thanks for coming on the Thank pumpkin you tour. So much. This was so fun. Everything was delicious. They're so, and this is just like scratching the surface. There's so many good things, pumpkin goodies around here. Tip of the iceberg. Tip, Tip of, of the, the iceberg. pumpkin berg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Jamie. Bye. Happy pumpkin season. Bye, everybody. Pumpkin. Hashtag Woo! all pumpkin everything. <laughs> I mean, we cannot have a partially pumpkin themed episode without talking about where you can get pumpkins. 
Maybe you want to make a jack-o'-lantern. Maybe you want a pie pumpkin to make pumpkin pie or other goodies from scratch. And you know, if you are downtown, you got to get to City Market. Here's the cool thing. So they have the huge pumpkin fall display set up on the weekends that you've probably seen. If you can't make it down on the weekends or just something's not working out with your schedule that's okay head to the city market any day of the week and there are additional pumpkins available over at Christina's produce so seven days a week whenever you need a pumpkin again pumpkin carving cooking baking decoration whatever you need head and see our friends at the city market and they will make sure that you are hooked up. Get my ass kicked on occasion. Knock me down seven times, I get up eight. I know you want some pumpkin food or some pumpkin drink. I know you do. And side note, I'm still looking for pumpkin cocktail recommendations. But just before this episode went up, I did see that our friends at Mean Mule Distilling have a pumpkin cocktail so i'm going to try to get over there this weekend and check it out and i will share that experience on our social media at downtown dish kc on twitter and instagram really hope you enjoyed this week's show thank you so much for joining us please come back next week because we've got more fun in the works there are some new openings that we want to make sure that you know about so what we're going to do, we're going to tie in those exciting announcements with a spotlight on some of the wine and liquor focused businesses in downtown. There's a couple new ones that I want to make sure are on your radar. We are going to combine that into a festive episode that we are calling Poppin' Bottles. So grab a bottle of your favorite beverage maybe it's bubbly that would be good and we've got a lot to share next week on the downtown dish have a great weekend